I started with two hides. Hides that I actually wanted to tan with the fur on last fall. That project got away from me and they sat frozen to the ground covered with snow through the winter. When the snow melted and I peeled the hides up, most of the fur came off. So I switched plans to making buckskin. Now you could get to this point by soaking the hides in a lye water solution and then scrape the fur off. But my way worked out a lot easier, so I'm pretty happy about that. Spraying the hides down with the hose worked out really well for getting rid of some of the loose stuff, but I needed to soak them both in a vinegar solution to get rid of some of the more stubborn fatty tissue that was still stuck to the hides. After the hides soaked in vinegar for a couple days, I scraped them down with a wire brush to get rid of some more of the fatty tissue. There was still a bit of gunk on them, so I put them in the vinegar solution for a couple more days. I scraped off the icy fat kind of easy with just a putty knife. So I have a confession, and some of you probably already know this, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing with these deer hides. I just thought I'd give it a try in between um, working on my camper, I'm waiting for some tires to come in on my camper. So I, I thought in the meantime, why not try tanning some deer hides, see what happens. I didn't want to do it the way that YouTube told me to do it. It's, anyone can make a YouTube video. I thought I'd try to cut, cut some corners and work these work these hides a little bit different way. So the last thing I did that probably screwed this all up whoop, was I put the deer hides into the washing machine. Which actually worked out okay for this one. It seemed like it 
helped rinse it off and wring it off. I just didn't want to stand there. And I, I attempted to stand there and wrap these up and wring them out. But they're such, they were such small deer hides that that didn't work out so great. So I just put them in the wash machine because that's what a wash machine does. It rinses and it wrings it out. This one held up okay, but the other one didn't make it so well. It really broke down and started ripping apart really bad. So I lost that one in the process. And maybe I lost this one too. I don't know necessarily if the wash machine was the problem or if it was because I, I had it in the, in the um, vinegar for too long or if it was because I used the wrong vinegar. You're supposed to use white vinegar. I was using apple cider vinegar. Maybe that's what made, made them break down so much. But either way, I'm kind of at this stage with it where I hear you're supposed to add some fat to it in the form of uh, eggshells or this is where you would use the brain of the deer to soften up the hide. Oh, I have, I have the eggshells. I do not have the brain from the deer. And I, but I also have, um, some, I made a, uh, I made a roast yesterday and I have the fat from that. So I figured I'd add the fat from that to this. What the heck? What can it hurt? Like I said, I probably already screwed this up so much anyways. What does it really matter at this point? Yeah, I worked it. Work the egg yolk into this. Add the fat, which is also salty, so that, that might help. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a horrible thing. I don't know. Can only try. This would be the point where you would stretch the hide out and let it dry, but I also skipped that step and I just draped the hide right over the sawhorse that I have. It actually did break down fairly well, but I thought I could soften it up a little bit more by adding some oil.
I let the oil sit on it for one or two days and I continued to break it down with my hands or over the sawhorse. So here's a somewhat finished product. It's not perfect. Well, it's, it's not even good, really. It's not good at all. But it's something that I made out of the deer hide that I had and something that I might use. So I feel good about that. But maybe I should have listened to like 5,000 years of people's experience of trying to tan deer hides and use that approach instead of using a wash machine or trying to do it without stretching it out. But it is somewhat soft. It does feel like leather, really. So those are some positives. Now, I, I really don't know what <laughs> this little section is going to be. It, I, I made a little bag out of it. And all I did for that was I just super glued the edges and now I'm cutting it down as you can see. Maybe this bag will end up in with my hunting stuff and I can kind of use it like to hold some of the stuff that I use for gutting a deer. It will be like the whole circle of life. Well, I guess more, more like a circle of death or only death. some deer hide to hold my deer cutting tools. There we go. A small little pouch. Maybe I'll end up where I can store store my gun in there or something. But that's that's it. I do have some more of this material that I can use for some other things. Um Maybe a wallet even, or or like to carry some knives when I go on my camping trips. Little stuff like that. So yeah, you can you can come up with a finished product going a non-traditional way, and it was a much easier way probably than what most people do. But it's not gonna turn out quite as nice. You can see the Coloration's not quite there, and it's probably not going to be as durable as what other things would be. I may end up, next time I have a campfire, putting this on the campfire just to smoke it. I, I don't necessarily know what the reasoning behind that is. Probably to make sure you, you get everything out of it, dry it off good. But for now, that's it. How to turn one deer hide into a purse. Anyhow, again, hopefully you didn't uh, <laughs> waste too much time watching a video about this. <laughs> because I'm clearly not an expert. But if you want to look at camper restoration, this is the channel to watch. Alright. Thanks for watching.